Imagine the most captivating and beautiful young Tudor girl. Meet the 15-year-old Mary Boleyn. Mary was the older and more beautiful sister of Anne Boleyn, the famous second queen of Henry VIII, and the lover of two of the most powerful European kings at the time. Moreover, she is the direct ancestress of the modern British royal family through her daughter, Catherine Carey, to Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. Who was this beautiful, mysterious lady who seemed to live at the center of the Tudor court, but who we have so little historical records? Let's investigate the complex network of Mary's life, from crucial players like Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn to others who significantly impacted her tale. At the end of the video, we would like to share our work in recreating their centuries-old portraits into lifelike images, photographs, and videos using currently available AI. Observe Mary and her contemporaries as if you will meet them in real life. Let's begin by delving into the tale of Mary's life. Although we do not know the exact date of her birth, she was born at Hever Castle as the oldest of the three surviving children of the Boleyn family. Her father was an ambitious and cunning diplomat, Thomas Boleyn, her mother was Elizabeth Howard, the eldest granddaughter of the Sea Duke of Norfolk. Because Elizabeth's father and grandfather fought for Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth, Henry VII demoted the family to the Earldom of Surrey during the early Tudor era. Thomas and Elizabeth Boleyn were ambitious and provided their children with a far more extended education. Their family fortune turned when Thomas Howard, Elizabeth's father, and Mary and Anne Boleyn's grandfather helped Catherine of Aragon defeat the Scottish army at the Battle of Flodden in 1513. This momentous event and her family's newfound influence also kick-started Mary Boleyn's life adventures. In 1514, Thomas secured her a prestigious position as maid of honor for the king's stunning 18-year-old sister. Princess Mary was nicknamed Mary Rose for her unrivaled beauty among the Tudors. In a strategic move to secure peace between England and France, the king arranged for his young sister to marry the 56-year-old French king, Louis XII. Mary Boleyn accompanied Princess Mary to France, immersing herself in one of the most sophisticated courts of the time. But fate had other plans. Princess Mary's marriage was short-lived. Her much older husband, Louis XII, passed away within three months. Throwing caution to the wind, Princess Elope, her brother's best friend, Charles Brandon. Henry VIII originally sent back to keep Mary to France to arrange for her to marry the new king, Francis I. Unruffled by the whirlwind of unforeseen events, Mary Boleyn and her younger sister Anne seized the opportunity to stay in France and remain in the captivating French court as maids of honor for the new queen. The 15-year-old Queen Claude of France was of their age and shared the same youthful spirit. Their father, the ever-ambitious Thomas Boleyn, soon joined them in Paris, stepping into the prestigious role of English ambassador to France. It wasn't long before Mary's alluring beauty caught the eye of the dashing new French king. She would soon become one of Francis I's favorite mistresses. By 1519, whispers of scandalous affairs and wild rumors surrounding Mary reached the ears of the young queen. Unable to ignore the growing storm, Mary was dispatched back to England, possibly expelled in disgrace. What awaited our bewitching young Tudor maiden, a mere 20 years old, as she embarked on her journey back to the treacherous world of the English court? Upon her return to the enigmatic world of the English court, fate had another intriguing chapter, in store for the captivating Mary Boleyn. Soon, she was appointed maid of honor to the resolute and dignified English queen. Queen Catherine of Aragon was King Henry VIII's first wife. This prestigious role placed Mary again at the heart of the royal court, where secrets, power plays, and romantic entanglements thrived. In a strategic alliance, Mary married the ambitious and well-connected William Carey, a gentleman of the King's Privy Chamber. Their union further solidified the Boleyn family's presence within the intricate web of the court's hierarchy. As the beautiful Mary navigated the treacherous waters of the English court, it wasn't long before she caught the roving eye of the charismatic king. Her previous experience as a mistress in the French court served as an irresistible lure for the insatiable Henry VIII. Swept up in a tempestuous affair with the most powerful man in England, Mary Boleyn found herself at the center of a dangerous game. As she balanced her new marriage, her position as a maid of honor, and the secret affair with the king, the stakes grew ever higher.
with the lives and fortunes of the Boleyn family precariously hanging in the balance. The whirlwind romance between the beguiling Mary Boleyn and King Henry th continued to burn with intensity, culminating in the birth of a daughter, Catherine Carey, in 1522. This momentous event coincided with her enigmatic sister, Anne Boleyn's return from France. Though many considered Mary the more beautiful of the two sisters, Anne's fierce ambition and sharp intellect made her a force to be reckoned with. Anne Boleyn's refusal to succumb to King Henry VIII's advances only ignited his desire for her even more. As Mary gave birth to a son, Henry Carey, the king's infatuation with her began to wane. Ultimately, he ended their passionate affair to pursue Anne Boleyn, leaving Mary abandoned and heartbroken. Tragedy continued to unfold for Mary when her husband, William Carey, succumbed to the sweating sickness in 1528. Left with mounting debts, Mary resorted to pawning her precious jewelry in a desperate bid for survival. To further compound her misery, the wardship of her children was awarded to her sister Anne, leaving Mary bereft of love, money, and even her offspring. Anne did, however, arrange a meager pension of 100 pounds per annum to help Mary stay afloat. Witnessing her sister's meteoric rise to power, culminating in her becoming queen in 1533, must have been a bitter pill for Mary to swallow. In 1534, she found solace in a secret marriage to the devoted William Stafford. But their love came at a great cost. The secret union enraged both King Henry VIII and Queen Anne, leading to Mary's banishment from court and her disownment by the Boleyn family. Mary Boleyn's life seemed to fade into obscurity, barely mentioned when her sister and brother met their gruesome end at the hands of Henry VIII in 1536, and her parents perished a year or two later. Despite living in poverty alongside her second husband, Mary managed to outlive her entire family, and even five of Henry VIII's six queens. She endured a tumultuous existence marked by passion, betrayal, and heartache, until she died in 1543 at 44. In the enthralling and treacherous world of the Tudor dynasty, Mary Boleyn's story stands as a testament to the triumphs and tragedies that define the era. We use the following section to explore the portraits of people heavily influencing Mary Boleyn's life and her era, and convert them to photographs and videos using AI. Mary Boleyn's story is intricate, yet a tragic scarcity of authenticated portraits of this captivating Tudor maiden exists. But let's venture to unveil the faces behind her tale through notable artwork. Mary Boleyn. Unfortunately, no confirmed portrait of Mary exists. However, one speculated artwork at Hever Castle depicts a lady with a soft, enigmatic gaze, thought to be Mary, perhaps. How close do you think the picture resembles her? Anne Boleyn. Although the artist remains elusive, a prominent painting showcases Anne with dark, piercing eyes, her French hood adorned with pearls and a pendant. This portrait shows a strong presence that might have rivaled her sister's beauty. Would you choose Anne over Mary Boleyn if you were Henry VIII? King Henry VIII, Hans Holbein the Younger, masterfully captured the king's commanding presence. In this iconic painting, Henry stands imposingly exuding both power and royal magnificence. Francis I. Francis I's regal allure was brilliantly portrayed by the Renaissance artist Jean Clouet. In this renowned depiction, Francis is presented with an air of sophistication and elegance, symbolizing the very essence of the French Renaissance he championed. Catherine of Aragon, Lucas Horenbout created a striking portrait of Queen Catherine. The painting depicts a dignified and regal queen, embodying grace and steadfastness, which Mary would have observed and perhaps even admired during her time as maid of honor. Thomas Boleyn, the father of Mary and Anne, an ambitious diplomat, was depicted in a portrait with the artist unfortunately unknown. Dressed in a sense of prestige and wearing the chain of the Order of the Garter, Thomas's influence in the Tudor court is evident. Mary Boleyn's life, rich in drama and intrigue, is inextricably linked to these prominent Tudor figures. Thank you for joining us for this video. If you like it, please like, share, and join us for more fascinating videos and meetings with history.